Today we're going to see if we can beat Balloon C6 using only radioactive towers. And these are the towers that are radioactive. We've got Balloon Solver, Balloon Tony Reactor and Energizer, Ground Zero and the Star Bomba, the most powerful nuclear bomb of them all, Big One and the biggest one, and Hydro Rocket Pots all the way up to Mad, which I assume still shoots out Balloon Toy Missiles like the third path. And of course, the map is Spillway. So yeah, so we're going to be working with a very, very toxic environment here. So I'm going to try to finish this as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I'll get cute radiation poisoning or something. Definitely don't want that, that's for sure. It's probably even worse for the monkeys that are actually, you know, on the field playing. We definitely don't want our monkey comrades to be succumbing to radiation. After all, we're trying to get them on the balloons, but... It's kind of hard to do that without, you know, hurting the tower itself. Especially this, uh, this soon-to-be solver in the uh, middle of the track, where it's probably going to experience, like, the, the most of the radiation sickness slash poisoning. Don't think it's strong enough to defend that, unless it's made of lead or anything like that, but yeah. It's okay. We don't have any of the radiation-giving towers just yet, just the map itself. I'll spill the nuclear waste or whatever that is on the field. You're gonna get an ace to... Yeah, probably just get a bunch of base towers here to help out. Not sure what I want to go for first off. But I would say for early game, ace is probably fine up until we need to get reactor. I think that would be the easiest thing to get. Like, you know, that would help us defend. But it, it won't do anything until I get the 4 0 in time. Unless I happen to get my 3 0 somewhere. I guess, I guess I'll just get it right now. We can get a little bit of range of that. Uh, occasionally, uh, the dart might, uh, you know... Oh, yeah, the intel, right. I forgot about the mortar over here, giving intel. So that'll be fine. Uh, don't worry about the leaks right now. It'll all be good once you get a reactor, but I don't think I'm going to be able to save it this much. I could cross path this glue, but usually the better solver cross path is 502 for the uh, longer duration and slower serams, but I don't know if I... Uh, I'm able to get away with that right now. They maybe I should just do stronger mortar. You know what? Sure, we'll do a bloom buster. I don't think we need Shell Shock just yet, but the double damage uh, should help a little bit. Yep, looks like Bloom Buster is a good choice. We finally got a reactor right now. Go ahead and submerge it. Uh, I guess if I want some more damage, I could do 402, but I'm really just getting this for uh, the deep camo for the later game. And usually this should have enough damage slash pierce to uh, scrape by early game, so I'm just gonna save the money. You never know if it could matter later on. We'll get Shell Shock now. What's our mob damage? Uh, probably we can probably go for a Dissolver. Let's get those toxic nuclear attacks going in. I assume it starts with uh, Tier 3, right? I'm also not buying the upgrade just in case it doesn't work for F40 because I think it should. 10 damage per second to a Moab. I think Spillway is long enough that we can pop it in time, but let's just see for certain here. I'll do 402 and come on. Shell Shock 2 to stun if anything gets through, but we're good. Oh, right, and this was added this update. Balloon of the Fire now drops uh, little puddles on the field, just like the solver, so... Uh, yeah, NK is doing everything they can to make this upgrade, you know, used, want to be used by people without just it always being a stepping stone to the solver, like it always was. And might this finally be the change slash buff that pushes it, pushes it over the edge to finally be used without, you know, people always going to solver? Well, maybe. Like, not to mention it's really cheap now, because uh, I don't know if anyone remembers when the game came out. I'm pretty sure this upgrade cost like 6k, and had like one pierce, and didn't drop these little blue bobs. So uh, just imagine, if people aren't using it now, then uh, what would they have used, uh, you know, back in update 1.05 years ago? Well, they wouldn't use this, and a lot of the tier 5s. Again, I mentioned this a lot of times before, but it's crazy how far the game has come. I'm going to get a big one, by the way. Now we can just start it right in the middle. But yeah, on the topic of how bad tier fives were when we got released, uh, some of the tier fives we're gonna get this game too. Uh, have gotten, have come a long way. I remember when biggest one came out, it was so bad, but they gave it a buff to make it OP. They nerfed it a lot. Now they buffed it again to be a decent option. Same with Energizer. Same with Star Bomb with the price decrease, or rather the cooldown decrease. I could go on and on and on. But yeah, I'll stop there for now. Mid game seems pretty easy. I mean, Solver, or yeah, Solver is like the perfect tower to use on a map like this. Pretty much has full range of everything in the field, and same with the biggest one too. I think we'll, I think 100 rounds of this will be pretty easy, which is why, again, we're standing it a little bit. Again, staying this long might be bad for us in such a radioactive environment, but who's to say that we aren't, haven't already succumbed to the effects of radiation at this point in the game? Like, on the topic of radiation, I gotta say that that's probably one of the worst ways to go. Radiation poisoning. I've looked up a lot over the years on uh, 
cases where people were exposed to high amounts of radiation, and it's it's not pretty. Like, whether it's acute or if it's, like, a long-term effect where you end up getting cancer 20-plus years down the line. Both ways it just seem terrible. I think if it were me, I'd rather implode in a submarine 10,000 feet in the sea. That way, wouldn't even have to feel any pain at all. Anyways, getting a little off-topic here. I have so much money that I guess I can just go for my biggest one next. I have yet to get my MAD. There's not really a good place to put MAD in this map. I would assume the best place is probably just to put it like somewhere here and then have it shoot straight inside the circle rather than removing any of these. Speaking of which, I don't think I'm going to remove any of them because it's 2k for each one. 8k total. What towers do we even, like, would even help to be able to see in here? Probably just Darling Guns again, but I'm pretty sure having it shoot in a stream like that is better. But who knows? It could be wrong. Anyways, let's get the biggest one now. Is there any use of going for Energizer? Like, assuming I had the money for every tier 5 in the game, I would say no because the only thing I'm reducing the cooldown of would be the, uh, well, Star Bomber. And I guess the Mad ability, but I don't think it's useful enough to be worth 34.5k, that's for sure. And again, that's why I didn't go for the cross path submarine, because I don't need it. With these two doing that much damage, uh, we are good to save 1.5k. In case you might need it for a, a later game. Round 80 here should be good. I think the biggest was done. Yeah, it should be easy peasy. Again, I don't even have to micro my mortar, because uh, just in this spot here, every ZMG gets stunned, uh, even if briefly. I think it should still be enough to hold, right? It's taking a while to pop those... Uh, ZMGs, though, because we don't get any Asphalt anymore. If nothing's popping. We're good for now, though. Again, as a flex, I kind of want to see how much money can save up. Maybe not even just a flex, but maybe to save it for Mad, because I feel like that would be better than going for Star Mama. Just because it's permanent damage, rather than having to buy an ability and having to wait 40 seconds for it to come up again. DTs are good. Even though the ZMGs are ramped up this round, the amount of Asphalt's should mean we pop this at about the same time. If not faster, right? Yep, 92 and still good. Uh, how about 93 here? I actually think it might be useful to go for... Uh, maybe more than one reactor, because sometimes, like, if the DT is coming from the bottom left, for example, it doesn't get decount de until very late, and... Uh, I think we could probably use that, right? Yeah, maybe before going for MAD, or any other tower. We'll get two of these. Gotta go for Zuzer for the instant decamo, and also the fifth theme. Otherwise, I would buy them three Zuzer only, but yeah. Yep, that was the uh, key all along for 93. If we could handle 60 DTs from 93, I think we should handle... Uh... No, we actually don't beat the Storm 75. Damn. Alright then, so before I go for my Mad, or my uh, Star Bomba, I just want to see if maybe Rocket Storm is good enough. This is just here for the stun, uh, if I use it now, with the Gorn Storm MK. I'm not sure if it's enough, though, because... Again, this wave lasts a long time, so I feel like... We'll probably die to the back half, because we... Uh... Don't have the ability anymore, right? Or maybe I can get lucky, or, or Mark of the Mortar, because if you've only a couple of Rams leaked, I could probably snipe it, but yeah. That's good. Again, getting mad will be marvelous, so I think if I don't spend anything else, I can afford this on 98. Let's hope that we got enough mob DPS for this, come on. Down to Moabs, uh, we're good. Actually, what I should be worried about is this, is this round, because double the HP and Moabs, uh... I think this round might require something else, guys. Because yeah, there's not, there's not much I can do. The solver caps out at 100 DPS. The Mortar does not do much DPS. Maybe I should have done 502, damn. The reason I went 520 was for the stun, rather than for the DPS, but... I actually might have chosen wrong. Hmm. So, unfortunately, the only thing I can do is just use the, uh, you know, Rocket Storm ability. And hope the stun is enough, but the cooldown's so long and the duration's so, so short that... I doubt it'll do much, but... You never know until you try. Okay, maybe just a Ground Zero, 700 damage per ability. I could probably use it two times this round. Uh, I'll do it... now? Oh, but this is bad, though. I get it for one part, but I'm not able to beat the uh, ZMGs here. I don't want to get Star Bomb, because remember, Round 100 exists? Alright, I got it this time, guys. We'll use uh, the Rocket Storm immediately, and also target the Mortar, so that it gets extra damage faster, and stuns, too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, looking a lot better now. Thanks to the one four zero Wing Monkey 2. See, all the, all the Bomb Race bombs are basically landing... We want to 40 damage per bomb. It's still not. Oh, it's enough. It's enough. Barely. Now, what I'd like to try to do here is uh, use the ground zero to pop everything. So let me see if I can just stall without popping Moabs. Come on. No. My ground zero is like two seconds of coming up. Unlucky. 
Okay, let's try this again. What I did differently was I moved the Star Bomba or Ground Zero away after the first bad or Zoom G got popped, and uh, uh, it worked. Frankly, I did not expect 97 to be that hard, but glad we got out of it without spending too much money. I think this round, I probably don't need any abilities, right? Yeah, look at that software distortion, guys. It's insane. 10,000 DPS to clean up that dense round. Gotta love it. And I think the money's there. Yep, this house are 16. I have enough for the thingy. Let me just wait for everything to come out. And then nuke. And uh, that is good. Let's sell this now. And get mad. And just like that, we have cracked the key. And also, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the walls do not uh, affect the mad missiles. It seems like no matter where I shoot it, it goes through. So that's good. Even better than I thought. And yep, there it is. Round 100 beaten. Now we can actually go for, uh, you know, ground zeros and star bombas with our extra money. In fact, mad is so nice that I'm pretty sure I can just leave it shooting straight down. And uh, we'll probably be fine. We'll probably do enough damage to all these FZMGs here. I would assume. Yeah, again, dense rounds are no problem. Even if there's a, a, dent, a round that's too dense, we're now going to get a ground zero very soon. That should help deal with that. Obviously, it wasn't intentional by NK, but all these towers are coming together to synergize very beautifully. Again, not often we get a theme challenge that has towers that synergize, like, perfectly together. It's mostly just, you know, Mad Solver doing the work. But, you know, biggest one's done. Common to help as well. Now, 111 is a dense round, but it might be a little bit too dense, because, again... The man will get pierce capped. I also do have Star Bomber, by the way, so... Uh, shall I use it? I would say not until, like, we're leaking the stuff. So I'll use this to stun. And also do some, you know, ZMG damage. And then if we see anything leak, then we'll nuke out to end the round. Oh, uh, yep, yep. I should have used it a little bit earlier, but... We are getting pierce capped, that's for sure. I guess I'll just use it really early then. Sure. This will clean up some of the BFP, so... Uh, now it's just... Well, less BFEs to work with, but they're all popping at once, so... This might still leak even after SAR. Let's see. That's why it's good to get, like, a second Ground Zero, but... Yeah, I don't have enough money just yet. I think it just comes down to using Star Bomber, like, after Gordon Storm. We're just really, really late. But I gotta get lucky. I have another uh, Mad ability coming up early, because I used it early. So maybe that helps a little bit. Oh, uh, yep. Ah, uh, nope. I can't. Alright, I'm running out of options here. Let me try the following. I'm going to just target the mad here. Try to make one quarter of the map at a time. I have no idea. But maybe that relieves some density. Even if that means popping some of the other fortifieds a little bit later. If you know what I mean. Just some food for thought. You know, if I get lucky, I could probably even get a second mad ability up to stun and delay a little bit longer. This looks like a good time to use Sar. Now, uh, now, now, now. Yep, there's very little density left. I think Sovereign can clean this up. Come on. Finally, okay. We're not out of the clear, though, because, again, we have to juggle our abilities very wisely. Or we'll leak to rounds like maybe this. Please don't make me use an ability here. Okay, we barely survived DTs. I'm also this close to getting another ground zero, so that would be, like, the chef's kiss if I get that to work. I'll do a star now, because those DTs are very scary. I might even use a Gordon Storm here to stun, yeah. Just gotta keep those DTs in place, and... I think 111 is probably one of the hardest rounds. Now that we got out of that, it's looking good. Yeah, there's no more dense rounds after this. Just DT rounds, which apparently are really easy, because Mad just needs two missiles to pop them. Actually, there are some DTs this round, but they're only ZMGs. I think we should be good. I'll use a stun here for the fortified DTs, though. Round zero. A bit slow. Ability now. There's GZ, and uh, there are DTs. So we're going into 119 with everything we could possibly get. It's really just down to the mat at this point to uh, do enough bad damage. So uh, let's hope. Worst case, I probably have to buy and resell the mat so I get abilities faster. But I hope it doesn't come down to that. Maybe I'll use a, a Star Bomber early too. Just for like 3,000 free damage. Yeah, let's uh, do it now. Stun DT, ZMG as well, we're at it too. We'll use a Ground Zero for those BFBs. Uh, Solver takes care of that. Bad 2 is going to pop. And where does this uh, third bed exit? If it exits now, then we're kind of screwed. Yeah, I think it's going to go on the bottom left, bottom right corner, right? Okay, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, I got a Star Bomb of DTs, though. Okay, it actually exits top left, so that's even better for us. I think we actually beat this. Uh, do I need a Ground Zero? Oh, that was so close. Yeah, I couldn't get any closer to that without losing any lives. And uh, 120, again, 
For those who have seen runs of me going late game already, you should know this round is very easy, and we did it! We survived the radiation nuclear challenge. Or did we actually? Because, you know, sometimes the damage isn't apparent on the surface. We'll find out in a couple years or a couple decades, but if I disappear suddenly, you'll, you'll know what happened. Anyways, that's it, and just as a quick pop count overview, 2.8 on the solver, 1.6 on the, um, biggest one, 3.6 on the mad. Pretty good carry work overall by the Radioactive Gang. 